Hi guys, it's Madame LaRue and the Magic Tarot 123 coming to you with your Tuesday morning reading. Uh, so, um, I'm live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. If you would like to get a one-on-one -on -one live reading, that would be $30 and uh, that ha happens at 6 p.m. for at the Magic Hour. Okay. So let's get into this reading. There's some form of burdens. Uh, we have Archangel Michael, the Strength card, the Fool, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is concerning your movement forward, okay? Um, also, you have Archangel Michael protecting you on this journey of your Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Queen of Wands, right now, your energy is critically low. Spirit wants you to rest and ground yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. Um, I, I'm picking up that this may be someone this comparing, uh, I said comparing yourself to others, but it says past with your future. So maybe that's what, and you might be also comparing yourself to others. Stop that because you are the empress. So there's no reason for you to compare. You are incomparable. Okay. Can nobody match your energy? You are different on purpose. All right. We have a king of swords energy here. That may be going along to your future. And we have the Ace of Rings. Now, the Ace of Rings, I feel like with it looks like an eye. So this person may be scrying. This King of Swords energy may be scrying on you. All right. Right now, you're experiencing some anxiety, Empress. Okay. Your past is your past. All right. This masculine here, he's influencing your thoughts and your decision. And maybe this is what this reading is about. Like, if you if you should trust them, maybe that's why you're having this this uh, low energy, this burdensome energy, this fear. Okay, what else, spirit? What else you want to tell us? What else you want to tell us? There's magic being done, hands down, and there it is. There's magic being done on you by a guide, um, a spiritual list. So this person knows what they're doing. This is the hair font that's on the board. This person knows what they're doing. All that glitters is not gold. Okay, I feel like this masculine, this king of swords energy is the one that is influencing your, influencing your thoughts, causing you anxiety and burdens. And this person is a high real friend magician. This person is a magi. Okay, all that glitters is not gold. Okay, and we have the ace of swords on the bottom. We're about to reveal what the fuck is going on in the background. All right. And he's showing up as the emperor. He's showing up as the emperor here in this reading. Okay. So this person may be a father figure in your life, a husband. Okay. Um, but this person is influenced. This magi is influencing your thoughts. And, and the, your Wheel of Fortune is headed towards some form of foundation. So let's let's really get into this. What is the magic? That the, I feel, I'm feel i feeling skull magic. I'm feeling like this person, that, that will cause you anxiety, you know. This is a strong spell that they're using with the strength card. They're scrying. They're causing you conflict, inner conflict. Which makes no fucking sense. If they want to be with you. If they want to be with you. Okay? Someone's assaulting your union. Wow. This emperor might be your emperor and this magi might be completely separate. Or it could be all the same. I just heard your masculine is the devil incarnated. What else? What's this? What's this uh, assault on the way? On the wedding. They want destruction on the wedding. If you might have just been proposed to. Okay. This magi. This Hierophant magi. Danger and destruction is exit for heaven's wrath on you. And your union.
keep your strength up at this time. Force you to be for wrongdoing. You may have a platform. A social media platform. And they picked up on this, this union, this marriage that's coming in. And so now they're casting on the couple. Separation, danger, destruction in the union. And they want, I believe they want this emperor to leave you. So that this foundation doesn't come to. Okay. You may need to do a return to sender spell. Um, this person is doing God worship. This magi, this powerful magi is doing God worship. So this person may be in some form of cult. There's a feminine werewolf on the board. This person may be part of the spell casting. Because remember, it's a ritual. So it's, it's not just one person. Although you can do rituals by yourself. What is this? They want to tie the emperor's libido. Yeah, this is your man. This is your man. This is y'all right here. Danger and destruction. They want to tie his libido. This may also affect your spirit babies. Your future spirit babies. This motherfucker is sick as fuck. I don't feel like you know of this person at all. This person is coveting your union. They wishing it was them. This person has a lot of spells. They do a lot of spells. They have them in their house. In a room. And you're showing up as Queen of Sheba. And your masculine is King Solomon. So they're going to fuck around and find out. This this um, magi or whatever the fuck you want to think he is. Is about to find out who they fucking with. On some real shit. On some real shit. This person is watching. This masculine is watching. Definitely watching. Watching your foundation. Watching your money. Watching everything that's going on. They want to hold you back from moving forward. They want to close that cycle with you and your emperor. This is what the conflict is. This is what's happening on the moon cycle. But spirit has an offer for them. That they don't see coming. This person is trying to attack your family. Your upcoming family. They're trying to steal from King Solomon. This reading is really about the emperor. For the feminine to relax, this is for the emperor. This is something that the emperor might have to do. I do believe that this uh, emperor is also a ma magician. Again, foundation popped up on the board. Okay? And the love. This is what this and this is what the feminine vampire is casting on. Your love. This they teamed up together. Okay, so the feminine vampire wants the masculine, the magi wants the empress. The feminine werewolf wants the emperor. The magi wants the empress with the queen of cups on the bottom. Life force energy. The empress carries life force energy. See, look. The empress really loves her emperor and really wants to have this union and this marriage here. But someone here, this fucking magi and his bitch, is uh, casting to, to cause confusion and conflict within the union. So we have the Knight of Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, there's the magician. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The these are very passionate mag magical people right here. Very passionate magical people. This couple the Magi and the High Priestess. So what's going to happen now, Spirit? What's going to happen now? What do you want us to know about this? The, what I feel like the, the Empress and the, the, the Emperor, Queen of Cups energy, is going to um, give them something that they will never forget. The Hanged Man position. They're about to be punished. This is war. This is war. Can't break something you didn't build. 
they are they are very powerful and they have a lot of love for each other they're both sitting on their throne they're both sitting in their power okay we have a king of swords energy i feel like that's the masculine he can also do off with your head confirmation all right and i believe that's what's about to happen bells are ringing everywhere you might have um sounds going off around you as you're listening to this reading these are ancient souls okay we got queen sheba and solomon ancient souls also the number eight five four might be significant you might be seeing eight 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 they're gonna protect their family this couple is abundant as fuck and they are coming into union irregardless of whatever the fuck these people are trying to send their union is going to be very victorious also with the spells that they cast it the three forms of sorrow i do believe that uh someone on the feminine side spiritual fe feminine side is coming in all right spirit what else someone on the on the feminine side is stepping in for the lovers they're stepping in to stop the bullshit and i want to know what's going to happen to them once this feminine uh spiritual team step in and the the masculine they're both working together so at this point this union already happened uh, i don't know if they they think that you need an actual physical wedding for for two people to be married in the astral or in the ether they're already married honey so you're a little too late okay and they're very they're very tight-knit they're very close so there's absolutely nothing you can do magi and werewolf all right you're going to be getting an evil spirit sent to you you already have one attached this is the attachment why you guys are doing your god worship you're worshiping the wrong fucking god that's a ghost that you're worshiping you're worshiping a ghost yeah that's what you're doing <laughs> you thought you was worshiping a god they're gods they're walking living gods the call to war like i said they are walking gods and nobody knows it because they're in flesh what else spirit what else is going on there goes the dead souls so they have they have evil spirits and two dead souls with them that's three that is three what else spirit what's going to happen to them they came against the sacred union this is a sacred union you can't steal from that no matter what you do no matter how much god worship you're doing hierophant magician magi no matter what the fuck you're doing you can't it, it just won't happen what else? and i feel like this is in a brotherhood some form of brotherhood possibly by the emperor that's why this message is for the emperor we have sister on the board if you have a sister be careful sister always pops up I, I don't understand why maybe the magi look bottom of the deck watching your riches and your fortune your sister's watching your money your sister may be the vampire the werewolf confirmation we have the galactical federation there's a reversal going on a reversal spell going on in the altar room right now to cast back the evil spells and hexes that were sent. These people, woo, these people will be getting bad luck. It's a bad luck curse that they'll be getting. That's what they sent to you. Their gifts are about to be blocked, and this is the revenge. They This is revenge against the separation spell that they tried to do. Your enemies are trapped. And you have a deceased friend that is helping. That's probably who they're worshiping. <laughs> Stupid ass. No. This is an evil spirit. This this is your deceased friend is helping in the in the background here. They're helping. Spell denied. The spirit of the fear of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, is on their ass. And this is escape to victory for the union. Okay? 
Their spell is not working and will never work. The angel of death is now part of rectifying the situation. Okay? They wanted domination and utter control. That's what he wanted. He wanted domination. That's why he started the spell. To dominate the empress and have full control. Remember, he was influencing your thoughts telepathically in your dream state. He is showing up as a masculine enemy. Again, confirmation on a dream state. Trying to do magic over your heart and mind. They're doing ritualistic uh, practices. They're coming in a group. They're celebrating. They think they won, but they didn't. The guardian angel is watching. Your personal guardian angel is watching. I keep seeing this masculine lover pop up. He popped up in the other deck. So this person may also be part of the... That's the thir third person. That's who was hiding in the back with the moon. But your angel said, they don't give a fuck. Call in reinforcement and put their asses in the fucking freezer if you haven't already. And this is going to be swift and cruel for them. And the couple will have prosperity moving forward. Again, it, this is Madame Lagu and the Magic Tower. Magic Tower. Wow. Wow. It's going to be a magical tower moment for their ass. Again. But let me say my, my pardons. This is Madame La Rue and the Magic Tarot 1, 2, 3. Uh, I am live 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Wednesday through Friday, Eastern Standard Time. I'm live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, at which time I will receive and accept uh, incoming donational readings. Um, you can call in or you can... Uh, join us on the clubhouse. This is where we will begin our reading. Okay. And let's see a final. I'm hearing the Wheel of Fortune. I'm hearing the Wheel of Fortune here. Karma's Wheel. The foundation is happening. Y'all can't do nothing the fuck about it. And that's the truth. There you go. Ten of Swords. You wanted it. Now all of y'all will be left out in the cold. Both, all three of y'all is going to walk the earth burdened in curses because the spell has been swapped. And that's on period. And that's coming from the feminine's guides. So, y'all have a wonderful fucking day with your dumb bullshit ass magic. <laughs>